price of eggs has gotten ridiculous. And now we're hearing that there's potentially a conspiracy to put something into feed or to sell us feed that is keeping our chickens from laying eggs. Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at what might stop your hens from laying eggs before you assume that they're out to get you. Not that they aren't out to get you, just that we can at least eliminate what might be causing the issue with your birds. So our chickens are not free range. We do give them a lot of greens to eat. If we were to let them free range, they would help themselves to all kinds of bugs and grass and everything else. Free range birds get a great benefit of nutrition over even our birds which are fed pretty well from the garden and from scraps. We do as well as we can. Free range birds do better, but free range birds end up dead because predators kill them off. So most of our modern chickens are not really suited to going and free ranging and still living. They're friendly little things. They get really close. They don't have a lot of survival instinct. You can pretty much just pick one up and grab it. And predators will do that. So ours are confined, but they get a lot of this stuff. So we're not just relying on a bag, cheap feed. There's also the benefit of getting all this bit bits and pieces and when we dig up grubs in the garden they come in here to the chickens as well we just throw them over the fence and they can help themselves another thing that we do is we buy food that is more expensive we buy the organic stuff as much as possible and we actually often get stuff that has been milled that is soy free this year i don't think is soy free but it's not the cheap bottom of the barrel stuff I don't want to eat cheap bottom of the barrel chicken and eggs, so I don't feed them the very bottom of the barrel stuff. They get a lot of green material, like I was saying, and a lot of stuff from the kitchen. And then the pellets for that extra boost, we buy organic, and we hope that the organic certification is enough to save us. Uh, and so far, the birds have thrived on it and lay quite well, and we get rich yellow yolks. Another thing to remember, is that the winter months affect a chicken's laying. So if the days are short, often the birds just quit laying and you should expect that. If you're a new chicken owner and you kind of got panicky over, you know, how things are going and inflation rates and everything, don't, don't worry if your chickens lay less in the winter. Right now we've got 21 hens and we get about 13 eggs a day, which is fine. That's plenty of eggs a day. Uh, but when it comes to the middle of the summer, we're more likely to get 20 eggs a day or 18 eggs a day. It goes way up. And in the dead middle, like around December 21st or so, when days are really short, we had less eggs. So it comes and goes. So remember that that light cycle is part of a chicken's life. And I don't try to push it by putting lights in here. I figure God designed chickens to lay less at certain times of year and to lay more at other times of the year. So I figure it gives their bodies a break and maybe the birds will be happier and healthier for longer. Another thing to remember is that even if you're giving your birds plenty of food, it needs to be consistent. They need to have access to food and water at all times. If the water runs out for a day because something happened or it sprung a leak or you forgot or you were sick or whatever else, the birds will not like that and the laying will drop off significantly. You've got to have that regular on tap. You, in caging them up, have become their sole sustenance. Think of them like little nursing babies. You, you've got to keep an eye on your little baby. And because you've taken the responsibility of watching over these birds, you got to make sure that they are consistently, consistently getting water and food all the time so they can always look out there and say, oh, I feel really peaceful. I think I'll go lay an egg. Another thing to remember is that chickens need a certain level of protein. We experimented in the past with feeding our birds different mixes of grains and we grew our own corn and amaranth and we fed them tons of greens from the garden. And then we found that they didn't really want to lay. They just stopped. The chickens looked good. They looked fine and happy and all that stuff. But if they don't have enough protein, they simply won't make eggs. And you have to remember also that they need calcium to make eggs. Think about what that shell is made out of. You gotta give them some oyster shell or crush up the eggs 
throw the shells back to them after you have made your scrambled eggs. They've got to have a source of calcium and they've got to have enough protein. So those two things right there are also limiting factors that can stop your hens from laying eggs. If you're gonna grow your own chicken feed, say you don't wanna go buy organic feed, we can buy organic feed right now because we have the money to do it and it's still available, but we also have backups. And one of the good backups for protein is mealworms. So we keep a bin of mealworms actually in our hallway. They're really easy to keep. These are the darkling beetles. They lay eggs, the eggs hatch out into mealworms and you can keep them in any kind of grain or bran or we feed ours oatmeal, which we get in bulk. And they take that and they convert the carbohydrates into protein. And protein is what those chickens really need. Another option for protein is to keep a worm bin. You can keep earthworms right in the ground or you can do a bathtub worm bin like the one I've demonstrated for you guys, full of red wiggler worms. Worms are full of protein. And so these guys are another option. If you were to grow grain or roots and feed them to the birds for carbohydrates, but you were also keeping mealworms or earthworms or you did something like set up a black soldier fly bin, now you've got another option of protein that you can balance out for times when you can't buy food. So before you believe there's some huge overarching conspiracy to stop your hens from laying eggs, which I'm not gonna say there isn't some huge overarching conspiracy. There very well may be. There have been many throughout history that we know of so far. But before you assume that your feed or them spraying something in the sky or whatever else is the reason that your hens aren't laying eggs, make sure that you've eliminated those factors that normally all throughout the history of hens has kept hens from laying eggs. So make sure they've got calcium, make sure they have enough protein, make sure that they have decent feed. If you can get them some greens, that's excellent. If they have space to run around in, that's excellent. Make sure that their water and their feed are always available. And remember that they lay a different amount during the winter than they do during the summer, spring, and fall. There's a cycle to the bird's life. If you can make sure that you're taking care of the bird the way the bird wants to be taken care of, you're probably going to get eggs. And if you still don't get eggs, watch out. They're coming to get you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I've been dealing with these birds for a very long period of time. I've noticed that these guys here are laying. This one is not, not laying. There's something not right with a bird that large cannot lay an egg. Wake up, sheeple.